Hello everyone. The iconic British sitcom Mr. Bean was first aired 32 years ago in 1990, and it has left a profound impact on many of us. The combination of Rowan Atkinson's unique comedic style and the show's memorable characters had us glued to our TV screens. Let's take a walk down memory lane and catch up on the lives of the actors who brought these characters to life. Matilda Ziegler, remembered for her role as the girlfriend, was born on July 23, 1964, in Ashford, Kent, England. She was just 26 years old when she starred in the sitcom. Today, at the age of 59, she is living a content life. <laughs> equally self-centered, which is why I thought they came together really well. Roger Sloman. Roger Sloman portrayed the character of the blind man, born on May 19, 1946, in Harrow, Middlesex, England. Sloman was 44 when he took on the role in Mr. Bean. Today, he is 77 years old and living a happy life. <laughs> Major of Discipline Davis, a gobbler of confectionery, unable to hold down a relationship or a proper job. Live with your mother. The star of the show, Rowan Atkinson, who played the titular character, Mr. Bean, was born on January 6, 1955, in Consett, Durham, England. Atkinson was 35 years old when he first breathed life into the lovable, albeit eccentric, character. Now, at the age of 68, he continues to entertain audiences with his talent. And we had to give him a name in order to give the television show a name. So we came up with the name of, of Mr. Bean. We were thinking Mr. White uh, for a while. Matthew Ashford played the role of the hotel porter. He was born in London, UK on November 9th, 1958, and was a mere 19 years old when he appeared in the sitcom in 1993. Currently, he resides happily at 48 years old. Do you know what tomorrow is? Of course so. 11th of April. Ten years ago tomorrow you killed the Prime Minister live on television. Nick Hancock, the actor behind the Camera Thief character, was born on October 25th, 1962, in Stoke-on-Trent, Staffordshire, England. He was 29 when he appeared in the sitcom in 1991. Currently, he is 60 years old and living joyfully. Uh, could you, uh, that's a different card. Um, just press the red button. Okay. Friday and asked me to come onto the show and you know I'm I'm appalled I'm appalled really um, for him and um, and 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 at my Rupert Vensatart played the role of guardsman. He was 36 years old when he joined Mr. Bean in 1994. Today, at the age of 65, he continues to live a fulfilling life. <laughs> Um, the costumes are quite, quite demanding, yes, they take a long time. Colin Firth and I used to have a little competition. Richard Wilson, memorable for his role as the department store manager, was born on July 9, 1936, in Greenock, Renfrewshire, Scotland. At the age of 56, he appeared on Mr. Bean in 1992. Today, he is 87 years old and continues to live a happy life. <laughs> because they thought it was about death. Uh, but of course, what it was about was the foot that was out of the grave. That was the important one. He wanted the grave. Andy Bradford, who portrayed the bumper car's attendant, was born on September 7, 1944, in Cambridge, UK. 
He was 49 years old when he appeared in Mr. Bean in 1993. Today, he is 79 years old and living a fulfilling life. Just fortune. Susan Beagley. Susan Beagley, who portrayed the art teacher, was born on August 7, 1951, in Hammersmith, London, UK. She was 43 years old when she took on the role in 1994. Today, she is 72 years old and leading a happy life. Ah, ça c'est formidable, but I think... Là! Ah. Oh, bonjour, please, come here. Death, thou shalt die. Nothing but a breath, a comma, separates life from life everlasting. It's very simple, really. We Howard Goodall, known for his role as the church organist, was born on May 26, 1958, in Bromley, Kent, England. He was 32 years old when he appeared on the sitcom in 1990. He is now 65 years old and living a content life. <laughs> and find a story and find a way of putting that together. And I think that's pretty much true of all my musicals. I hear it first. I hear the sound of what it is first. And then is that like a... Angus Deaton. Angus Deaton, remembered for his role as the man on the park bench, was born on January 6, 1956 in Caterham, Surrey, England. He was 35 years old when he appeared on the show in 1991. Currently, at 67 years old, he continues to live a fulfilling life. Uh, yes, it, I mean, it's quite hard work. You, uh, it was kind of relentless, and uh, you were shooting four shows at once. Uh, so it was quite... Rudolf Walker, who played The Invigilator, was born on September 28, 1939, in San Juan, Trinidad and Tobago. He was 51 years old when he appeared in Mr. Bean in 1990. Currently, he is 84 years old and leading a content life. <laughs> Quiet, ladies and gentlemen, please. The exam will commence in two minutes. They had to work outside school hours. It meant that they had to find something to do. Um, you know, they, they had to find quality time. They had to use their, 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 their. Caroline Quentin, known for her role as the traffic warden, was born on July 11, 1960, in Raygate, Surrey, England. She was 32 years old when she appeared in the sitcom in 1992. Today, she is 63 years old and living a happy life. <laughs> to be there for them. No, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. I don't know that I'd want to be a teenager right now. Oh, I'm sure I don't know I if wouldn't. I'd be able to handle it. I think it's really, the pressures that they're under now yeah. are so, so... From the creation of the show to the present day, the cast of Mr. Bean has brought joy and laughter to millions of viewers worldwide. Whether they have continued to act in Hollywood or have chosen quieter lives, each of these actors played a vital role in shaping the series that we all love. So, who was your favorite character in Mr. Bean? Share your thoughts and memories of the show in the comments section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our content. Thank you for watching and reminiscing with us about this beloved sitcom.